And the Spartans, after a brief one-year hiatus, were looking to return to the state's elite in the Class 4 ranks. Tonight, they welcomed a talented squad from Danville. But, Brooke, styles make fights, and Salem doesn't change their style. They just keep pounding on you, and everybody just has to deal with it. That seems to be how it goes, That's but George goes. Washington is a good team, too. But the key for G-Dub is to limit the explosive plays Salem has and capitalize on offense using our former player of the week, Wesley Graves, who has had almost 1,500 yards of rushing this season. But Salem does have the advantage tonight, playing under the home lights, and they have that playoff experience. But the Spartans must play stout defense up front to get the win, and that meant stopping the hot roller, who I just said, Wesley Graves, 11-yard touchdown early to put G-Dub up 6 nothing. But like I said earlier, you cannot let Salem do what they do best, capitalize on big moments like this 51-yard strike to Sean Collins, the very next possession. The Spartan offense continued to pound it in, but George Washington fought like we knew they would. They continued to come within one score in the second half. Here's another TD by Graves, but as head coach Don Holter calls Salem football, another firework play right here, Collins' interception to prevent the Eagles from coming any closer late in the fourth. And Salem moves on, beating George Washington 48-21. to Tim's a darn good running back. And, you know, we talked about gap discipline, playing fast, um, resetting our, our, our gaps, and, and doing the little things right on defense and, and being aggressive and Salem physicality, and that's we were able to do that. Well, we got some kids that can play, and our offensive coordinator, Louis Pitts, and our defensive coordinator, John Fettison, do a great job preparing them. And, you know, we're aggressive by nature. That's what we do. If we have an opportunity to, and we see something, we're, we're going to do that. So, you know, we're going to get the ball down the field however we can, and they do a good job with that. So Salem moves on in the region 40, looking pretty unstoppable.